October last week current affairs we will discuss. The first topic is with respect to CTBT ratification, Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty, CTBT Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty ratification, what is this? Russia, USA, some of the countries they had legally accepted that we are going to follow comprehensive test ban treaty. What does it mean? What does it mean means the nuclear weapons we are not going to test means we are not going to manufacture nuclear weapons. A legally binding agreement was been signed through CTBT. For that what will happen? For example, if Narendra Modi goes to any meeting like G20 meeting or G8 meeting or CTBT meeting or any other meeting, they will come to one conclusion, they will write one agreement, they will write one agreement and they will come to a conclusion. So, that particular agreement, that particular agreement which they make, that agreement they have to come to the parliament and in the parliament they have to pass it, that is called as ratification. So, CTBT which was signed by United States of America and Russia, Russia had ratified it, Russia had ratified it means meaning means they, they signed it and they went to parliament and they ratified it. But United States of America, they signed it, but they did not ratified it, means they, they did not took it to Congress, they did not took it to parliament, so they did not ratified it, means what? President signed, but it did not got legal backing, why? Because the bill was been not passed in the parliament of United States of America. Now, Russia what they did? So, United States of America did not ratified, but I ratified, so, now what I am doing, I am revoking my ratification. So, I am not going to ratify CTBT, which means that in future I am going to test nuclear weapons, which means that in future I am going to test nuclear weapons. So, if they test nuclear weapons, what will happen? There will be a war, there will be competition for nuclear weapons, that is the meaning of it. So, it is a very high current affair, why? Because now, Russia is telling to the world that be ready, again I am going to manufacture nuclear weapons. Why? I had conflict with Ukraine, I had conflict with United States of America. So, I want to prove again myself that I am very powerful. So, what is the best weapon to prove that I am very much powerful? So, nuclear weapon want to, they want to manufacture the nuclear weapon, they want to prove the nuclear weapon, they want to, they want to test the nuclear weapon, which is showing that they are going to revoke. CTBT agreement. What is CTBT? Sir, Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. Whoever are signatory to this particular treaty, they will not test nuclear weapons, which means that they are not going to manufacture nuclear weapons. So, when we do not manufacture nuclear weapons, what is the benefit? Peaceful society, a peaceful community, the powerful weapons will not be manufactured. So, for a peaceful, what we want to have? We need to have no nuclear weapons, but Russia is telling that now I am going to revoke it. That means, I am now onwards, I am free. When I am free means I can manufacture nuclear weapons in the future. Indirectly, it is giving the directions to the world countries, mainly to the United States of America, mainly to the developed world, mainly to the European countries, mainly to the Western countries that be ready. I might manufacture nuclear weapons, be ready, I might test any essay. You can write such type of examples. Recently, Russia was in the news with respect to nuclear weapons. What is that? Putin had mentioned that they are going to revoke the ratification which they signed with respect to CTBT. That is the reason it is in the news. Comprehensive test ban treaty. It is a very, very big world order. It will change world order. Why? Because government of India did not sign CTBT, but there was lot of force onto the government of India to sign CTBT and to ratify CTBT. Now, India got an example. What is that? Russia already signed and they ratified, they are withdrawing. Then why you are asking me first to go and ask Russia, we will tell. We will tell to United States of America, you are very intelligent, you signed but you did not ratified. What is ratification? Passing in the parliament. First you go and United States of America, they signed, but where is ratification? Without ratification, it is not legally binding, no. So, United States of America intelligently they signed, but they did not ratify. Russia they signed and they ratified, but they are revoking ratification. So, first you get clarity from, first you get clarity from United States of America and Russia. Then you come and ask me why, because I am a developing country. So, what it will create? It will create a race. What type of race? Nuclear weapon race. 
arms race that to what type of arms nuclear weapons this is one thing which is in the news the same thing is there here second there is an index called as state food safety index state food index we prepare properly we prepared one indices and reports facts and figures very soon we will be we will be giving you those books only it will be of 60 pages 55 pages it will be there very crisp all the reports and indices and all data and figures so readily you can use the data in your answers within 3 4 days you will be getting it in that one of the famous index is state food safety index what is the state food index the state food safety index will be released by f s s a i food safety standards authority of india it told that in the year 2023 december october 28th this result came this index result came it showed that the food which we eat it showed that the food which we eat the safety levels are coming down the safety levels are coming down that means the concern for safety food should increase our own report which is given by a government body which is called as fss ai is telling that across india the food safety standards are been reducing so it creates what alert it creates what warning it creates what we need to maintain very good standards with respect to food fss ai developed the state food index to measure the performance of states on various parameters of food safety it was first rolled in 2018 in 2019 this index is based on the performance of the state union territory on five significant parameters set by the health ministry central government means based upon five pyramid based upon the five parameters i will be giving the index ranking with respect to what food safety with respect to what food standards what are the five para- parameters on which the state food safety index is been made number 1 human resource and institutional data number 2 compliance number 3 food testing infrastructure and surveillance number 4 training and capacity building number 5 consumer empowerment based upon this five parameters they will be giving this particular report and this report has told that not single state in india is up to the mark with respect to maintenance of food safety don't remember about ranks understand the parameters and what is the status mainly with respect to prelims asking about the ranks went away see rank today one rank tomorrow day after rank another rank will be there day after tomorrow another rank will be there what is important parameters are important what is the status is important and this fssaa have told that the food safety standards has been drastically reduced for every state not for one state for every state. we eat puris on the road not only road and the hotels also we don't know what oil will be there inside black color oil will be there like engine oil and we will enjoy like anything the same oil four times five times six times seventh time repeated the puri originally will be white in color it goes inside and comes back like a black color still we enjoy food safeties biryani is nowadays lot of examples it's chicken biryani or dog biryani we don't know food safety standards food safety standards who gave the report fssi what are the parameters five parameters one is human resource second is compliance third is food testing fourth is training and capacity building fifth is european union carbon border adjustment mechanism what is this understand this European Union is coming up with a new tax. European Union is coming with a new tax. They are leaving a new tax. That name is called as Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism. What is this, sir? Means European Union want to have carbon neutral. Carbon neutral means the carbon which is produced in European Union through industries. equally they will also develop forests so how much carbon is been released that much carbon is been taken away by the carbon sink what is carbon sink 
forest areas. So, industrialization is inevitable. So, compulsory they will release some pollution, they will release some smoke. So, equivalently they should also produce what? Forest. So, carbon source, carbon sink. When both are equal, then the carbon will be neutral. So, European Union is aspiring for what? Carbon neutral. So, what the European Union did is, yes, we reached carbon, they reached carbon neutral. European Union countries, they reached carbon neutral. But one thing is happening. When the European Union countries are, those countries are exporting, sorry, those countries are importing, when they are buying, when European Union is buying, when India is exporting, when we are exporting and European Union is importing, European Union is buying. So, on that goods which are exported from India and imported into European Union, if those products are generating pollution, for example, if they are going to buy Hero Honda Splendor, European Union people are going to buy 10,000 Hero Honda Splendor. So, it is a very good market for India. So, European Union is buying, so India is very happy. But now what they are telling means, your Hero Honda Splendor is releasing smoke. So, your Hero Honda is releasing smoke. So, that good which is produced in your, in your country is running here. So, it is disturbing our environment because of the good which is manufactured in your country. So, what we will do? We will control our carbon by producing carbon sinks. For that what I will do? I will bring more forest area, but for that more forest area I want money. So, what I will do? On your good which is buying from your country, I will impose tax. I will impose tax. As I impose tax, the good price will increase. When the good price is increased, whether it will be competitive in European Union, people will not buy now. Why? Because the price has been increased. The price has been increased not because of production cost, but because of tax. tax. So, India is accusing European Union. You want to disturb the market. You do not want our goods to be sold in European Union. So, you are imposing on the name of environment higher tax by the name called as carbon border adjustment mechanism. But European Union is telling that your goods which are buyed in our European Union are generating pollution. So, we are carbon neutral, but because of your good more pollution is coming, more carbon is coming. So, we want to make it neutral. So, we want technology, we want forest for that, we want money to maintain it. So, that money why I will bear from my pocket? I will bear from your pocket. Hence, I am leaving extra tax. So, the price of the good is increasing. When the goods price has been increased, whether it will be market friendly or it will be against the market? That particular tax is called as C B A M, carbon border adjustment mechanism. We can expect question like this. C B A M is recently in the news with respect to following statements. Number one, it is with respect to United European Union. It is with respect to United Nation Organization. It is with respect to the tax which is levied on the goods which are coming from India. It is actually not on India, on every country, but the most sufferer is India. That is called as carbon border adjustment mechanism. Same thing. European Union carbon border adjustment mechanism is a key component of European Union's Green Deal, aimed at reducing carbon emissions. Ensure that imported goods to the European Union meet similar carbon emission standards as European Union produced goods. Under CBM, exporters are required to report and pay for the carbon emissions associated with the production of their goods. They are telling, if you do not want the tax to be imposed, then what you do? You make the vehicles with similar technology of our country, but it will become more costlier. Hence, the good will become more costlier. So, better to impose CBAM only. If you want, if you do not want to impose this tax, what you do? What technology we are using with respect to pollution control? You use the same technology in your bike. Example, anything. So, that the carbon which will be released will be less. Then I will not impose any CBAM, but I will impose your 
I will impose CBAM if and only if you are going to produce carbon, more carbon that is called as CBAM. Next, pitch why painting, pitch why painting, art and culture, it is in the news. Pitch why painting, what is this pitch why painting? Mainly of Rajasthan, this paintings is part of Udaipur of Rajasthan, it is in the news recently. Pitch why painting. Chennai's college is hosting an art exhibition showcasing Pichwai paintings, some of which date back to 350 years. Pichwai art originated in Natwara near Udaipur, Rajasthan and is traditionally created on cloth, typically khadi. On khadi cloth, this designs they will put, this, this diagrams they will draw, this paintings they will draw. So, it is a cloth and that to which cloth and khadi cloth. The paintings use stone pigments, chemkil, stone pigments, small small stone, they will just stone pigments, some god photos will be there, fit. those are called stone pigments, gold and silver tones and vegetable dyes for vibrant colors like orange, red, chrome, yellow and kesari, this is pichwai painting. Now, other than Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu is also emphasizing on Pichwai painting. Pichwai painting is done on cloth, mainly Kadi cloth, whereby we use stones, whereby we use stones of gold and silver, gold and silver, not original gold and silver, gold color and silver color. Pichwai painting belongs to which state? Rajasthan. Rajasthan. Art and culture. Politicians, technology leaders, gather at United Kingdom's Artificial Intelligence Summit, which is called as Blitclay, Blitclay Declaration, Blitclay Declaration, it is in the news, exclusive prelims point of view, Blitclay Declaration, what is this? This declaration, a summit was happened in United Kingdom a meeting was conducted at United Kingdom. We can expect a question. Blood clay declaration is recently in news with respect to what? Why? Because we discussed about Beijing declaration, Cairo declaration. So, what are all the declaration happened in the recent years? Those all are important. This is a very good current affair. Why? Because nowadays everything is artificial intelligence. For example, nowadays if I open YouTube, once upon a time Joe Mota advertisement used to come. Now, elections are happening, Congress advertisement or TRS advertisement, these advertisements are coming or if I open Facebook, one Congress advertisement came or BJP advertisement came, I clicked it once, then what will happen, you know, the artificial intelligence of Facebook will understand that this person is interested in Congress videos, this person is interested in BJP videos, this person is interested in this KCR videos. So, what will happen, whenever I move my Facebook, every time the same video will surface. So, when the same video is surfaced, what will happen? It will have a profound impact on me and whatever they are showing, I will think that it is reality. Why? Because I am unable to see another political party's example. I cannot see another political party video. Why? Because once I open, the artificial intelligence will rotate the same way. Why? Because artificial intelligence will understand that I am interested in this political party's video. Whether it is going to control my mind, whether artificial intelligence is going to control my mind? Yes. For example, open to some video, X video, I am searching for those videos only. Four or five times he opened the video. Then next time, whenever, if any friend is there or mother is there, father is there, he suddenly opened Facebook, only the same videos will come. Arr, 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 what happened? Why? Because the artificial intelligence of the Facebook will understand that this person is interested in this means artificial intelligence is controlling what we should see, what we should not see, which is very dangerous. So, very good meeting was being conducted in United Kingdom. So, politicians, technology gens, engineers all came together, so that the artificial intelligence should be controlled, artificial intelligence should be regulated, 
human brains should regulate artificial intelligence but artificial intelligence should not regulate that is all about blatantly declaration is with respect to using artificial intelligence safely using artificial intelligence safely the first the very first artificial intelligence safety summit was held at blitley park the historic si site where scientists like alan turing cracked the nazi enigma code during world war 2 a very important place the summit aimed to create a framework for mitigating artificial intelligence risks while maximizing its potential and resulted in the blitley declaration blitley declaration emphasize the importance of collaboration between the governments technology developers and civil society to ensure artificial intelligence safety ai safety artificial intelligence safety so blitley declaration is mainly with respect to collaboration of government technology all the jains together to make the artificial intelligence safer declaration all the declarations one pdf i will give all will be together at one particular place in later times next supreme court flags selective confidentiality in electoral bonds it is in the news if you remember it is in the news first i will tell you what is electoral bonds electoral bonds means you are congress party <coughs> your mla candidate is my friend i want to give money i want to give money so anyhow black money support i might do cash but i have white money also so i want to support in a white way in white money earlier this concept was not there i cannot support political parties but recently what happened the government of india came up with a government order go and told that electoral bonds can be happened through sbi so i will go to sbi bank and i will buy an electoral bond on the name of political party i will transfer amount for example 10 lakhs and they will give me electoral bond this bond i will take and i will go to my congress mla and i will give him before elections he will take that bond he will come to the branch and he will deposit and he will get the money that is called as electoral funding in a white way that particular bond is called as what electoral bond so there is a problem in that what is that problem when the bjp government made this electoral bond government order go they told that whoever are funding the political parties their names see i went to sbi whether they will ask my name they will ask my bank account no i, I have to transfer from bank account only transfer means so when my when i am giving bank account means complete my kyc is with them my complete my kyc is with them so here in that government order with respect to electoral bonds what they did the government will be having the accessibility of the person who is going to fund the political parties through the electoral bonds government means political party or government is someone else it is political party only no government means political party only means what happened today the bjp government is having the complete information who is going to fund them and who is going to fund his opposition also so they will take the list who are funding to them they will not take they will take the list who are funding congress party so they will target now oh reliance ambani had funded 10 crore the next day there will be a raid on them which hunting will happen there will be problem so the supreme court told that why you should get that confidential information you are government you are government but you are a political party first in election time no government no no government everyone is political parties only why because they want to win the race so the government is having the accessibility to the people who are going to fund the political parties so they are taking the revenge on the those people who are funding the opposition parties then opposition parties shouting that the government is having accessibility to all the people who are funding the opposition parties so they are fearing that that ruling government is coming to know that who is going to fund the opposition party so obviously there will be what 
witch hunting so because of witch hunting what is happening the people are not funding the opposition parties but they are funding whom ruling party so ruling party is getting more electoral funds when compared to opposition, opposition party undemocratic completely undemocratic completely no transparency completely opaque means who are funding the political party who is on to the government the information is not coming out but who are funding the opposition the information is open the government itself is giving the information or they themselves are which hunting so it is completely against democracy it is completely against transparency it is completely against responsibility the supreme court told the supreme court flags selective confidentiality selectively you are taking the confidential information who ruling party who are funding B congress party who are funding mim party or who are funding brs party you are selectively you are taking the confidential information it is completely undemocratic it is completely transparency so where come the democracy is there in india the supreme court asked supreme court flag selective confidentiality in electoral bonds and asked the government of the day please as soon as possible make the reform to it either you also give the information or else you don't give the information of yours also why you will take only from opposition gave the warning so now they have to submit affidavit to the supreme court of india what will be the response the supreme court will take into consideration and they will give a judgment got it electoral reforms where you will write this electoral reforms earlier we thought that electoral bonds is good why because money transfer is happening no white money no no problem but who is getting the information only the ruling government is coming to know who is sufferer here opposition party the supreme court expressed the concern about the selective confidentiality of the electoral bond scheme which allows the ruling party to discover the identities of donors to opposition parties the court questioned the government's presumption of confidentiality and explored the potential disadvantage faced by the obviously who will fund no one will fund no now but who will they will fund to whom ruling party in electoral reforms compulsory expected question electoral reforms why because this is election year 2023 2024 is election year compulsory there will be question on 25 by 25 target most interesting what is this ministry of health and family welfare and who and united nation organization sustainable development goals this three came together and the government of india made a plan not government of india sustainable development goals as well as world health organization together they came up with a target and gave to every government of the country that by the year 2025 by the year 2025 you have to control four diseases what are the four diseases non communicable diseases what are non communicable diseases like lifestyle diseases what are those cardiac arrest respiratory disease diabetes mellitus and cancer these are the very big non communicable diseases which world is facing now one is cardiac arrest young people are dying nowadays respiratory disease like asthma non communicable disease it is because of lifestyle third diabetes mellitus widely spread fourth is cancer nowadays cancer cases are number of increasing what might be the reason for this four diseases lifestyle disease means i can control it how by changing lifestyle so it is in my hands so who and united nations sustainable development goals gave the target to every country to the india as well that 60% of the deaths are happening through non communicable diseases across the world means if anyone is dying he might be died because of murder or accident or by communicable disease or by non communicable disease or by aging factor etc in all the mortalities 60% of the mortality is because of non communicable disease so the target is that 60% of mortality which is happening should be reduced to 25% by which year so it should be reduced to 25% by the year 2025 that is what 25 by 25 target Indian Council of Medical Research India will likely miss reaching targets set by the World Health Organization and the United Nations mandated sustainable development goals to reduce premature deaths from four major non communicable diseases 
the 25 by 25 target was outlined when the WHO adopted a global non communicable disease monitoring framework in 2013 in 2013 only they told that by 2025 the mo the mortality should be reduced to 25% the strategy seeks to reduce preventable mortality the united nation has set a target to reduce four major non communicable disease like cardiovascular disease cardiac arrest chronic respiratory disease diabetes mellitus and cancer by 25% by 2025 as they account for more than as they account for up to 60 percent of so from 60 percent should be reduced to 25 percent mainly what non communicable disease why because non communicable disease we can control just by changing 25 by 25 is recently in the news with respect to what it is with respect to non communicable disease which is targeted by who and united nations sustainable development goals and indian councils for medical research told that we are not going to reach it before they asked we told that please do not involve me we are not going to reach it india out campaign these are very important which are happening india out campaign what is this there is a story of india and maldives india and maldives here it is maldives a archipelago a complete a group of islands which is south to india other side Sri Lanka, the down is archipelago, which is Maldives, down to it is equator, down to it is equator, very near Maldives, just how much will kilometers away, it is somewhere around 750 kilometers only, the, the distance is approximately 800 meters, 800 kilometers of land, 1111 island, recently last 15 years only it got developed like anything because of tourism. If not earlier, it was completely a fundamentalist country, Muslim fundamentalist country. We know our policy is what? Neighborhood policy. Neighborhood first policy. Who are our neighborhood? Sark countries. Who are Sark countries? Eight countries. What are those? Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Bhutan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Pakistan. Afghanistan, whether Maldives is part of Sark or not, whether Maldives is part of Sark or not, Maldives, see no need to go for subject, just Sark countries, whether Maldives is part of, Maldives is part of Sark or not, South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, Maldives is not part of Sark, it is not part of Sark, only 8 countries, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Pakistan, Myanmar, Afghanistan, one more country, bordering countries, India itself. In Sark, how many countries are there? Eight. eight countries are there. India itself is eighth country, that is Sark. Only one country which is part of South Asia but not part of Sark is Maldives. The only country which is in South Asia but not part of Sark is Maldives. We had a very good relations with Maldives earlier. We had one Operation Cactus also we did, Operation Cactus. One ruler was there, Mohammed Yaqub, who was autocratic rule. Once there was, there was a civil war against the ruler, government of India went and supported the ruling government there. So, very good relations were been established between India and Maldives. But the present elections happened in the month of October. Ibrahim Saleh is the new government elected. This new government which is elected in Maldives, they are supporting a campaign called as India Out Campaign. What is this India Out Campaign? India Out Campaign, they are supporting China and they are rejecting India. If they support here China, what will happen? Here they will have their naval base string of pearls this is india mainland already they have in ethiopia their naval base in the horn of africa already they have in thailand already they have in the south asia south china sea they have in hambantota in sri lanka in chittagong they have in bangladesh they are already very good supporters of pakistan so already india is controlled from this side india is controlled up to this side 
only one gap is there this is if this is also under the control of china what will happen india is surrounded by are you getting my point remember the map in bangladesh chittagong is constructed by china under the control of china indirectly thailand laos is under the control of china south china sea then hamban tota in sri lanka itself is under the control of china ethiopia somalia horn of africa is under the control of china means naval bases pakistan is under the control of china so here everywhere it is controlled by china up to here it is under the control of china so only this part is left in indian ocean and this is which country maldives so very very important if we lose this we will lose indian ocean this is called a string of pearls like a gold chain like a necklace string of pearls pearl 1 pearl 2 pearl 3 pearl 4 pearl 5 pearl 6 these are all pearls what are all the pearls naval bases they have in ethiopia they have in pakistan they have in hamban tota they have in chittagong they have in thailand and only one is left is this present government is supporting china and they want to send india out so here everything is controlled by china so we had one naval base our military base also here now the people mainly the opposition of india are telling that remove india's military base from maldives and support china why sir china is ready to pump money for infrastructure development so our country will grow don't go with emotions in supporting india go with the financial reason what is the financial reason if you are going to support the china the china is going to develop infrastructure, infrastructure in maldives if they does then we will lose this then complete indian ocean will be under the control of that particular campaign is india out campaign india out campaign is recently in the news very much with respect to which country president elect moizu of the maldives aims to remove indian military presence aligning with the opposition's india out campaign while emphasizing chinese assistance he stands aligns with the india out campaign by the main opposition block opposing the pro india foreign policy of the outgoing president ibrahim mohammed soleh so the, he was just he left it now who became the elected president moizu he was little bit friendly towards india now he is friendly towards china so there is a threat to why because government no he is a president so the government will run according to the president and the government want to support whom china why sir infrastructure development how by pumping money un forum on forest un forum on forest a forum mainly for the development of forest restoration of forest for afforestation un forum on forest this un forum on forest was established by united nation economic and social council in 2000 year old one only why current affair i will tell you this un forum on forest is established under united nation economic and social council for management conservation protection preservation and sustainable development of all types of it is based on rio declaration forest principles agenda 21 and the outcome of the intergovernmental panels on forest so it is based so this for this united nation forum on forest who are going to give the guidelines rio declaration gave the guidelines forest principles gave the guidelines it is also one of the organization agenda 21 also gave the guidelines and intergovernmental panel on forest how it will work all un member states and specialized agencies the un general assembly adopted the first ever un strategic plan for forests for 2017 to 2030 as a global framework for actions for forest conservation so this is up to now there is no exclusive forum for forest development we have for climate change we have for pollution control we have for sustainable development we have for biodiversity development but we don't have exclusive for forest so exclusive forest development organization working under united nation organization is UN forum for the philosophy for UN forum for forest is given by whom rio declaration forest principles agenda 21 and intergovernmental panels on forest 
which of the following is not which of the following is not giving the principles for un forum on forest why it is in the news the ministry of environment forest and climate change recently organized a country led initiative event under united nation forum on forests the country led initiative conducts discussions under united nation forum for forest regarding the implementation of sustainable forest management forest management and the sharing of best practices among member states so now we con we conducted one meeting in the month of october 23rd on october 23rd we conducted a meeting that is called as country led initiative means which country is taking which initiative so which country is taking very good initiative we are going to copy it and we are going to develop forests so country led initiative so they called all the countries who had initiatives with respect to development of forest under united nation forum on forest so we said please tell your initiatives please tell your initiatives please tell your initiatives what are the best initiatives who are going to implement now india so this country led initiative is conducted under which forum united nation forum on forest why for the purpose of development restoration of forest means this you should not read just like current affair any see compulsory there will be question on environment development or forest restoration or forest conservation forest preservation you can write a new concept like there is a united nation forum on forest in which the government of india has conducted one country led initiative under this the best initiatives of the countries with respect to development of the forest were been learned by the government of india now we are going to implement in india for the development of you will ask no sir something we have to write new thing something we have to write something new which evaluator should come to know that this person has been read more by this points only current affairs points only three basin summit i selectively took which didn't came in hindu newspaper or indian express newspaper upsc is becoming too much intelligent why because it is unpredictable they want to it is elimination exam it is not selection exam means the psychology is in any cost i have to send her out or send him out not to welcome to send her out or send him out elimination test means you have to be ready for any shock shocks will not be in the newspaper three basins summit you tell me what are the most popular and big forest basins of the world amazon basin amazon basin ante na congo basin congo basin congo which which continent africa congo basin third where more forests are available you also ah uh, another basin amazon basin congo basin where the forests are more just think guess indonesia malaysia this area also is having very good forest basins so across the world there are three basins the biggest is amazon the second biggest is congo third biggest is indonesian malaysian basins so these three countries brazil congo indonesia these three countries came together and they kept a summit for themselves such that the forest basins will be protected the pristine forests of the world are these three we are the oxygen for the world who are the oxygen for the world amazon basin congo basin and southeast asia basin indonesia malaysia and southeast asia southeast asia basin so these three countries came together three z bases came together and conducted a summit in when 2023 october where brazzaville where is this brazzaville in congo basins of amazon basins of amazon basins of congo basins of borneo mekong and southeast asia summit of three basins congregate in brazzaville republic of congo to strengthen south south governance for three ecosystems one is amazon other is congo other is borneo mekong and southeast 
Rishikesh. The first summit of the three tropical forest basins was held in Brazil Valley in 2011. But present also held in Brazil Valley. First, I am trying to make you remember first also as well as present also. First where? Brazil Valley. 2023 also? Brazil Valley. And resulted in the declaration of summit of three tropical forest basins, which recognized the need to establish a platform to promote cooperation among the countries of three basins. From October 23rd to 28th, summit of the three basins was held in Brazil Valley. Brazil Valley is the capital of good thing. See, these three people, these three countries, South America, Brazil, Amazonian, Congo, Congo Basin, Mekong, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia, these are Southeast Asia. These three regions of the world parallelly, big basins of the world, the for the tropical forests, evergreen forests are present in these three basins. So, the oxygen to the world is given by these three basins. So, these three basins need to be protected. And they came to conclusion outside people cannot protect, we should protect ourselves. So, they themselves formed a This is equator, north, south, is not it? This is equator, somewhere down only, down it will go, see. Southeast Asia, south, Congo, south, Amazon, south, south, south collaboration. So, the forests are present in south of the world or north of the world? South, south governance. Kataprasangam. It is in the news. Khata Prasangam is in the news, which is followed since medieval India. Some terms they will ask from medieval India. This term is very much in the news with respect to what? Khata Prasangam of Kerala. Nowadays it is so viral. Khata Prasangam. What is this? It is mainly with respect to scheduled caste, folklore, Janapada Geyalu. Aim Jana Bada Gayalu, you are the scheduled caste loan or SC communities, how they subjected to discrimination, how they subjected to exploitation, how they were being pressed down by the upper caste. They are going to express through poems, prose, songs, through Janapadas, through folklore. That particular activity is called as Kataprasangam. So, songs are so effective. So, through prose model, through poems models, they are expressing how the scheduled communi communities were being suffered with untouchability, discrimination, Devadasi system are expressed through a, a folklore mechanism, a, a, a video or a, a, a activity or a play where Kerala. Kataprasangam began as a medium to narrate stories of oppression. Stories of untouchability, stories of human resilience and opika, human resilience, how much you discriminate, but still I am patient, that is called as resilience, elasticity. The rubber is having most resilience, how much you drag, it will be again come back to its own position, it is called as resilience is best. We should also have this resilience, how much ever you pressure me, but still I will come to normal position, that is called as resilience. It finds a place of relevance and renewal in the digital age, captivating audience both young and old. Kataprasangam is a stage art form of Kerala, which was popular in the mid 20th century, which was following since medieval century. Kataprasangam owes its inception to Kumara Nasan, a Malayalam poet who aimed to educate and inspire underprivileged sections of society, propagate the principles of Sri Narayana Guru. Who is Narayana Guru? Narayana Guru Dharma Palana. Mainly, equality, who promoted equality. So, mainly with respect to untouchability, depression, oppression, exploitation, discrimination, mainly scheduled caste community, the songs were being played to make other people aware. Katha Prasangam, Levis model which is in the news, economy which is which is making news. One article was been there on this Lewis model in Indian Express paper. I liked it. I want to share with you. What is this Lewis model? It is a China model. What they did? 
China is a communist country. So everything is under the control of communist party or government, everything is under the control of government, state. They fixed wages for industrial sector, for manufacturing sector. They increased the wages. Why? Because this they did in 1990 onwards till today. Then what happened? The large junk of population who are into agriculture and allied activities, they got attracted towards industrial sector, they got attracted towards manufacturing sectors. Why? Because the wages are high. So, here disguised unemployment where 4 people can do the work, 10 people are working. So, 6 people are called as disguised unemployment. 4 people are sufficient, but how many people are there? 10 people. So, 6 people can be have an another alternative. For that what the China did? They increased the wages there and they promoted into the villages. In the industrial sector, the, the payments are this much, the wages are this much. So, what happened? Here the people who are there, who are in the villages, who are in the agriculture sector, they left it or how much they can do, that much they did and they started going towards industrial sector. So, what happened to the industrial sector? Labor came. Industrial sector grown up, manufacturing sector grown up. What is the difference between China's growth and Indian growth? Chinese growth is manufacturing sector, India's growth is service sector. Service sector is waste service. Service sector should not grow. What should grow? Manufacturing sector should grow. Why? Because manufacturing sector is what? Labor intensive. More employment will be generated. So, the people got very good salaries. When they got very good salaries, they got money. When they got money, they started buying the goods. When they started buying the goods, the demand increased. When the demand increased, the people started supplying. When the supply started, the prices increased. People getting the money. Agriculture people also getting the money. So, everyone got money. Hence, the development happened. The Chinese development is, Chinese model is Libby's model. Who, who is facilitator here? Government. Government gave the condition, you industrial sector, you private company. If you want to run the country, if you want to run the company in our country, what you do? You increase the wages. I will give you clearances. I will give you incentive. I will give you land, but salary should be high. So, people shifted. People got the money. In that way, this is the growth story of India is against Libby's model. India is against Libby's model. That is the reason we are unable to replicate. Countries with surplus labor like China could industrialize by paying wages just high enough to attract workers away from. This model assumed that higher wages in the manufacturing sector would match the additional output produced leading to the creation and expansion of industries without hence industrial growth, hence manufacturing sector. Money is coming rotating. Industries also will get money, no? Why? Because people are having the money, they will buy the goods. When they buy the goods, again it is in the circulation. Exercise. Harimo Shakti 2023. Harimo Shakti. It is a bilateral training exercise between Malaysian Army and Indian Army. Where? This is very important. In jungle, semi urban, urban environment, not in borders. In jungle warfare, semi urban warfare, in urban environment, they did the bilateral exercise. That bilateral exercise is called as exercise Harimo Shakti. Harimo means what? In Malaysian language, Shakti is called as Harimo. Our Shakti is our Shakti. Their Shakti is? So, exercise Harimo Shakti 2023 between Malaysian Army and Indian Army. Another scheme came, new scheme in the month of October. Pradhana Mantri, Pradhana Mantri Anushit. Anushit means unwanted. Pradhana Mantri Anushit Jati Abhyudai Yojana. Anushit Jati SCs. Anushit Jati Unwanted Jati are scheduled caste. For the development of exclusive scheduled caste community, a exclusive government scheme was being designed named as Ajay. PM Ajay. Full form is that one, but this exam Ajay. Prime Minister Ajay. Anushchut Jati Abhyudai Yojana. Pradhana Mantri Anushchut Jati Abhyudai Yojana is merger scheme of Pradhana Mantri Adarsh Gram Yojana, Central Special Central Assistance to Scheduled Caste Supplan, 
and Babu Jagjeevan Ram Chatravas Yojana. These three schemes together joined and became one scheme. Prelims point of view. Which of the schemes merged together to form PM Ajay? Number one. Adarsh Gram Yojana. Pradhana Mantri Adarsh Gram Yojana. Same another scheme is there. Adi Adarsh Gram Yojana. That is for STs. This is for SCs. Pradhana Mantri Adarsh Gram Yojana. Number two. Special Central Assistance to SC Sub Plan. Third is what? Babu Jagjeevan Ram Chatravas Yojana. Skill, employment. Chatravas means employment. These three schemes submerged together to call PM development of SC dominated villages into others gram, grants in aid for district state level projects for the socio economic development, construction of hostels in higher education, Chatravas means hostels, hostels in higher educational institutions which are top ranked as per the national institutional ranking framework, hostels in higher, higher engineering colleges those colleges which got national institutional ranking framework thereby exclusive hostels will be opened for scheduled caste community so that there will be no discrimination for them like in aims like iits like nits that is jagjeevan ram chatravas yojana chatravas hostels three submerged together called as pm ajay dark patterns science and technology this is very much in news dark patterns what is dark pattern See, sometimes what happens, you know, in Amazon also, when we are buying mobile phone, it will show. Now the price is 9,999 only for 4 hours. Time left is 3 hours 50 seconds, 3 hours 50 minutes, 3 hours 10 minutes. If you wait for 3 hours 10 minutes, again it will show. More 4 hours is there. Again we wait after 4 hours, again it will show 4 hours. It is what? Misleading. By showing some wrong information, deceptive, deceptive techniques, mosam, deceptive techniques. In aeroplanes also nowadays, what they will do, you know, people will buy the tickets. After buying the tickets, seats also we have to buy. Seats will be there, 150 rupees one seat, 250 rupees one seat, there will be no free seats only. There will be free seats. When the person go and sit in the aeroplane, other seats will be kali only. But he told the seat is in 150 rupees and 250 rupees. So, 150 rupees they will get, take the money, 250 rupees they will take the money, saying that no free seats left. And it is your responsibility, you know, you have to give me free, why? Because I bought the ticket. If no seats means I will sit down, why I should buy the ticket? Already I, to, uh, already I buy the ticket, why I should buy the free seat? Seat. These are all about deceptive techniques. Here they will say that no free seat, so 150 rupees one seat, window ticket means 200 rupees. To see from the window, 200 rupees we have to buy. Originally, no one will be sitting there. It will be vacant only. What is this? Mainly, airlines are using this deceptive techniques. Like, now the flight charge is 1400 rupees. Buy now, buy now, buy now. When we buy now, automatically again it will go to 6000 rupees only. Deceptive techniques. Refund. 6000 rupees. Something you, you do not want to, within 5 minutes you want to take refund, within 5 minutes. They will give you 10 percent, 600 rupees they will give out of 6000 rupees. Big, big airlines companies, they should have some policy. So, those cyber crime things which are present in hidden are called as dark patterns. Baijus also, it is in the news. Child will be seeing. After seeing for 10-15 minutes, so graphical elephant will come, giraffe will come, so he will feel very, very interesting. Suddenly, press next. So, he will think that next another video will come, press next. Then press this, by now it will be there, but he will see only press, press this. Credit card mothers or fathers will be there, press this, press this, done. <laughs> there the father account will be debited. What are this? Due to compliance of deceptive practices by airlines and online travel agents, the Indian Ministry of Civil Aviation has urged Indigo to fix its website, which government official termed as dark patterns, which is nothing but equal to, we see dynamic pricing also. They will not close the ticket, 1400, 300 rupees ticket will become 1400, 1500, 1600, dark patterns, cyber crime. 
So, dark patterns is in the news with respect to in a hidden way cyber crimes are done by the official websites not by the fake people by the official website itself officially they are doing that is called as dark pattern. Purple economy, purple economy means care economy like what the mother does what the mother does or what the wife does this is called as care economy. The same thing which is done by a servant usually she will charge 20,000 in urban centers the same work if it is done by a servant maid 20,000 or 30,000, but this lady is doing it free of cost. So, that is called as purple economy sometimes referred to as care economy represents a new vision of economies that recognizes the importance of care work empowerment autonomy of women to the functioning of the economies well being of societies and life sustainability. So, the purple economy is nothing but care economy which is done by the woman of the family is called as care economy that should be equally respected or paid. So, if that payment is been done then the Indian economy will grow, but this all done without any payment hence it is called as purple economy. These are all the things which are in the news quick revision number 1 Russia revoked CTBT nuclear arms race next state food safety index no state is per properly performing this 5 parameters you have to remember what are the parameters with respect to state food safety index carbon border adjustment mechanism a tax by European Union on the other countries goods which are buyed in European Union Pichwai painting of Rajasthan politicians for UK what is it Blitkle declaration selective confidentiality what is this election reforms electoral bonds 25 by 25 target India out campaign which country Maldives UN forum on forests India what it did country led initiative then three basin summit where it happened Brazili and Kataprasangam scheduled caste, Lewis model Indian economy, excess Harimo Shakti Malaysia, Prime Minister Ajay, dark patterns and finally purple economy.